I've been doing some repairs around the house again this weekend and came across something that some of you might find useful. Uh, once you learn this little technique, you'll never strip or cross thread a screw again. And it's just three easy steps. You can do it in a few seconds. And the first one is just uh, give the bolt a quick uh, check and clean it if you need to. You can see this one is kind of messed up here. Just get a brush. Uh, brush this side of it already. It's clean. Um, brush it and make sure you get a nice uh, clean thread there. And also check the end of the thread, the, the screw, to make sure it's not messed up. I've got one here that is messed up. There it is. You can see that the end of the, the end of the screw is not nice at all. It's been cut. This is a mess. They get struck, they get nicked and dented and whatever, and then the bolt won't go on there nicely. So, first step, just check and clean as needed. The second step is click. And you quite simply, you just turn the screw in the opposite direction like you're unscrewing it. You're turning it the wrong way. And I've had a lot of professionals and, and mechanics and whatever tell me, oh, you're turning it the wrong way. Nope, you know what you're doing here. What you want to do is you want to turn it the wrong way until you get a click. You'll hear it, it's a substantial click. There it is. You hear that? I did it on this table because this table makes a good sound, but you'll hear it, you'll feel it, it'll snap in place, and now the threads are aligned in both the, the female and male part, and as you turn it, it will go in perfectly. Works on wood, plastic, uh, big bolts, small bolts, um, anything. Just uh, turn it backwards until you get that click. Now the third thing is carpe. Use your hand. Um, you, if you try to use a screwdriver or something to start stuff, uh, you'll find that you cross thread and strip a lot more often because you just have more power with a tool. Uh, with, a, with your hands, you're better at getting things aligned straight and you can get that click with your hands. And then start it with your hands and when you feel like it's moving smoothly, then go ahead and use the tool. If it's not moving smoothly, back it out, do it again. Uh, but that's it. I'll show you also this works in wood and plastic. But again, three steps, check, clean, second step, click, third step, carpe, use your hands. Okay, so let's go check wood and plastic. Let's do this with a, with a uh, wooden screw. Hear that? Click, and it's ready to turn. So it works with wood, works with plastic, brass. Uh, any size screw, can be a watch screw, can be a huge bolt on your car. Uh, that's all it takes is you back it off until you hear that click, and then she's ready to go. It also works in plastic. This is a little toy helicopter. If we're quiet, we can hear it. Click. And there you go. And yes, this uh, I'm using a screwdriver because, frankly, the screw is too small for my fingers. So, but you hear the click and starts in there perfectly. So it'll keep from cross-threading that plastic or help you from stripping it out.